Dave Dravecki, the famous pitcher for the San Francisco Giants, a 21st round draft pick who fought his way up the ranks to national stardom. Growing up, I had two heroes, Sandy Koufax and Vita Blue. They were left-handed pitchers. All I cared about as a little kid was I wanted to throw a baseball like they did. I would have to say he was a tremendous competitor. He had this tremendous desire to win. Some people are born with just gobs of talent, but they only use about this much. And with David, David had this much, and Dave used it to the full extent. At the zenith of his amazing Major League Odyssey, Dave's doctors noticed a strange lump forming. Finally, they said, okay, let's just get it checked. And so we went to the doctor and, and had an MRI. We were in the waiting room waiting for the doctors to come back and talk to us. And outside of the room, we heard the doctors fooling around with the film, slapping it up on the thing. And then all of a sudden, the doctor said, oh my goodness, look at that tumor. It was cancer in his left arm, his pitching arm. And so the doctors came in and told him they believed he had a fibroid tumor at the base of his deltoid muscle. Um, they would have to remove it along with 50% of his deltoid muscle. The doctors said Dave Dravecki would never pitch again. But 10 months after the removal of cancer from his arm. You don't ever use the word finish when you talk about Dave Dravecki because he never finished. He stood on the mound in Candlestick Park on August 10th, 1989. And he stood there in amazement. The magnitude of that night is unreal. It was like a more, more like a World Series game, the seventh game in the World Series. And he got a stand ovation when he walked down by bullpen. When he first started warming up, he got a stand ovation when he finished. He got a stand ovation when he went to the mound. It was just incredible to sit there. I didn't really manage that game. I just sat there in awe. Dave returned to the mound to pitch eight electrifying innings for the Giants, leading them to victory. But then, five days later, on the mound against Montreal, Dave Dravecki threw the pitch heard round the world. The sixth inning, and I'm back out on the mound, and you know I rear back to throw a fastball to Tim Raines, who's at the plate. And all of a sudden, as I let go of that pitch, my left arm snaps in half. Here's the pitch, and Dravecki falls over. This incredible explosion in my left ear from releasing that fastball and my arm snapping in half. And I went falling to the ground, almost went in shock. There was something going on in my life that was a whole lot bigger than baseball. So much bigger than baseball. Trebecki stumbled on the mound. He threw a wild pitch. Hank, he's holding his shoulder. He was checked by the doctors, and they told him the tumor had returned. His left arm shattered, along with his dreams of a major league comeback. The man with the miracle arm must now face the future as an amputee. Baseball was just a stepping stone to something much greater.